Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Chef Life, a restaurant simulator. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. I've actually forgotten where we are. Where are we? Been away for a couple of hours, which means I'm probably not going to be able to cook. I know where we are. Nobody trusts us. They think we're Hitler's right hand man. They just don't trust anything that uh, we have to say or uh, anything we have to do. Oh, God, some stutterization there. Let's go check. Let's go see what the situation is. Uh, create a gastronomic menu, uh, vegetarian menu. Ah, yes. Marinated cubes of beef. I've figured out where the sliced pancetta is as well. I know where both of them are now, I think. Um, let's just ch quickly check the dashboard. Responsibility is still super low. Let's go get some food ordered. But let's change this. So, what are we going to change? What's the most annoying dish? Um, probably seafood risotto because we need to keep the tuna steak. So, beef bourguignon is now on the menu. And um, I'm looking for is a pasta dish. Which I think might be this. Pasta with spicy tomato sauce. I think it might be this one. So let's take pasta with spicy tomato sauce off the menu. Uh, we could ditch. Yeah, we have to ditch that. Or hmm, should we put the new beef capaccio on? That's the new version. Um, yep. Yeah, okay, I think that's pretty good. Oh, surprise visit! Who's this? Hello, sir. Hello, Chef. I've come to talk to you about a seminar taking place in the area. Our caterer cancelled on us last minute, so we're looking for a restaurant where our colleagues could dine. We're expecting the food to have a certain level of sophistication. We'll pay extra, of course. I'll contact your team again later to see if everything is ready for tonight. I'm counting on you. What does that mean? What expectations do you have of us right now? Where's the new one? Where's the new one? Seven dishes of level bistronomic cuisine or higher. What? Bistronomic. Does it tell me here? Right, so that's bistronomic. That's bistronomic. That isn't. Let's swap the Welsh rabbit out for something that is bistronomic. Languistine with vegetables is. Uh, the meatballs and sauce is already on there. Bistronomic, that's bistronomic. We could swap the Welsh rare bit for that. Or lasagna. Yeah, I think we could do that. I think we could do that. I think we're on the ball for that. Um, right, I'm still looking for... Um, hello. Hello, badges. Pizzas. I think that's in a DLC that's coming out later. So I'm looking for... Maybe, maybe it's in the locked department. Um... Think of the name of it. Sicilian Parmesan. It's not that. It's it's pasta with ham in it. It's a well-known dish. Everybody knows what it is. And apparently that's where you can find the stuff we want. Alright, so maybe I need to upgrade something. We have unlocked the recipe. 
and a new ingredient. Uh, so what it says now, still pasta with spicy tomato sauce. Spice pancetta. Yes! Bit of luck. Right, so we're going to have to cook that today. That's our priority. The beef bourguignon is already on there, but the pancetta is the other thing we've got to do. Right, let's try and do get... Let's try and get our... Uh, Try and get our ratings up as high as possible. No, we don't need any of that. We're going to have to drop the quality a little bit and come down here. There you go. That's really cheap. Uh, 96. I do the rounds of the suppliers and then deliver to you. Thank you. Uh, 96 dollars to get that done. Caretaker, motivated team, there we go. So lots of good stuff coming our way. Let's go and have a look see here. So the responsibility is back up to 100%. Um, we've nearly got 100% loyal customers. And um, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. So the two dishes that she needs to cook should be coming in the next two episodes, this one being one of them. Um, and then we're going to have to focus on his seafood request, which is um, going to be quite quite demanding. A lot of seafood going to be kept cooked out. But we should be able to do these two in the next two episodes including this one. So by next episode, the end of next episode, we should have her to rank 15 or 20 or whatever. Right, let's go. Let's do it. Um, different quality. We're going to have a big customer coming in this evening. We've got to do a good service. Now, I didn't put this menu together per se. Um, I've put this menu together in order to complete certain tasks. That's all. Oh, look at that. Bucatini al Matricana. It's a complicated mouthful of a dish. So we're going to create some pastry type stuffs first. Make spaghetti. Get that warmed up. And we're going to slice this stuff. How thick do we want to slice it? That's the question. Uh, thick slices. Okay. Thick slices. Do it. We have pancetta. We have dough. Perfect. We love it. We love it. Love it. Bucatini, I guess we're making. What's the difference between uh, spaghetti and bucatini, I wonder? They look very similar. That's that is so quick to make in comparison to some of the other stuff I've had to do. Right, so the parmesan is going to go into a little pile. And everything else is diced.
Good morning. Just preparing something rather special for you today, Adele. Got some nice dishes just for you. I think you're going to like them. And, 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 and this stuff. Groovy, right. Um, bring that round the side so we can use the old book. So we're going to do uh, the spaghetti on one side, and then this is going to be all chopped up and ready. So those three going first. Wine, pan uh, pancetta goes in last. Avoid high heat and cover the food. stuff okay that's coming on quite quickly do we have everything we need for this evening chef i couldn't tell you and i'm a bit busy now oh, that's cooking really quickly The spaghetti is going to be done before anything else. Let's see if I speed it up. Okay, that's done. That's staying warm on there. Chuck this in. We cover it. Crack in. And then we just need a saute pan to put it all together. What do, we need? what do we need to do with the sauté pan? Anything special? No, a bit of extra spi extra spices, extra herbs and spices. Okie dokes. Uh, and then cheese on top last. Okay. All right, we should take one of these. We make a good team. It's great that I can count on you. The spaghetti, and away we go. Perfect. What I like to hear. Quick stir. Chuck the spaghetti in. When does the bread come into play? It's going to be a good dish, this. Ah, oh, someone wants to come and speak to me. You have to wait. I'm just cooking something. Every day. It's like every day someone comes in and disturbs me. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't know where the bread comes into it. Where does the bread come into it? The bread is not part of it. The bread is not part of this recipe. Very odd. I wonder why then I've got bread in my hand. Where did the bread come from? Maybe I just clicked on the bread accidentally first. Look at that. A+. Plus. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Right. Oh, it's our friend. Hello, buddy. How you doing? I still haven't forgotten your menu from the last time I was here. You certainly proved how talented you are. And that talent might be able to help me. I'm trying to find a dish that my mother used to make. It had boned duck in it and also orange juice. But that's all I can remember. Hmm. Could it possibly be duck à l'orange? Surely not. 
If you manage to find the dish and offer it on your menu, I would be eternally grateful. Yeah, all right, mate. We could do that for you. We can do that for you. Look, a orange. Is it here? Is that it? No, it's here somewhere. One of these. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. Crispy salmon. Where's the duck a orange? Oh, no. No. Make sure some extra stuff is unlocked there, though. We're level 21. We could be level 22 by the end of this episode, and we can get more um, customers in. Cool. And maybe I've already got Dark Alarange. Put my name. D, 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 Dark Alarange. There you go. So we've got Dark Alarange already. Saw your last dish. Hey. It was great. You just keep improving every day. Thank you, Chef. That's so kind of you to say so. Hi, Chef. Hi, Chef. Right. Nah, stop doing that. I don't like it. <laughs> so, I would like you, Adele, to please produce. Can't do that because it will not be saved. Damn it, there's like literally no preparation you can do. It's any good to anybody. Right, I'll clear up instead. We'll get ready for service. So tomorrow we can put duck a orange, oops, and uh, the, uh, the dish that we just grabbed. The dish we just made, whatever it is. With pancetta on and hopefully that will unlock her full potential then we can really really go to town i think we'll take off like a rocket when we've got when we've got two chefs happy and uh, skilled i don't think there'll be any stopping us and we are literally one episode away from being level 22, so we can expand, I think, the restaurant. Not the kitchen, but the restaurant. Let me know if you need a hand, okay? Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What so, do you need, Chef? Sorry to do this to you. There's nothing else you can do, so just go clean. I'm going to go for a kip. Oh, hello. What's new? Is it this one? Got to serve it three times. Got to serve duck a orange three times. Let's have a look at these challenges. Uh, nine services of 75% or five tables that leave a rating of 75%. Just, just do good service. Now nobody hates me. Or do they? Do they still hate me? No. I think it, I think everyone's forgiven me finally. Go to town, guys. Let's get this done. E40. And there's a bug just landed on my screen. Get out of here. Right. Recipe pinned. Let's do this, guys. You are. I'm on it, Chef. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Yes, Chef. That's the one she needs to do the marinated wine. Marinated beef chunks, I think. Yeah. I think that's the one she needs to do, right? Uh, where a chef needs to take me up some. You know me well. I love that ingredient. Working with that ingredient is so fun. I we love go. working with that ingredient. So he's going to do three tuna steaks of different degrees of um, doneness. That's not a word, but I'm using it as a word. Doneness, completeness, how how long it's been cooked or prepared for. I wish we could use this. This would be brilliant. If we could bring um, saucepans and stuff to here and just run it through occasionally, that'd be excellent. Right, here they come. First orders, what have we got? No, 
that's going to be a problem. Let's see. So, two tuna steaks of different degrees and some meatballs. All down to you guys. I'm not cooking today. I've been holding your hand for the last two days. Time up. Fantastic quality chef, thank you. Service. It's going to take him a little while to get those two tuna steak recipes done, I think. I don't know, he's halfway through the first one. Right, let's hope these meatballs are good quality. Ah, they don't look it. B quality. It's a shame. I haven't got time to argue about it. Just have to get it out. It means we're not going to get 100% across the board. Unless it's an A. It's an A. We can serve it. It's good. It's good enough. Oh, bit of a stutter there. I am playing and recording in 4K, by the way, guys. Have been for the last few episodes. Right, so there's the level 1... Uh, Fish. Oh man, I need the sides. Oh no, what am I talking about? I keep forgetting, he's fully prepping, isn't he? He's doing the whole dish. Right, now I actually don't know what this is. This is a cold dish. Nothing we can do with that for now. This is the level two. Doing a fantastic job of that. Look at him. Look at him. He's all over it. Great job, Chef. I'm raring to go, Chef. Get me working on something. Wonderful. Wonderful quality. Right, what do we have here? What the hell is this? <laughs> I don't know what that is. What the hell is that thing? What the hell? It looks like a flipping snake. I do not know what that is. Oh, that's the marinated in wine. The cooked beef marinated in wine. That's what that is. It really doesn't look like that. It really doesn't look like that. Right, Adele. Uh, you've done a fantastic job. No Let's see, problem, chef. see if we can get some better... Okay, chef. Some better uh, meatballs out, shall we? Understood, Chef. Uh, Kasim, um, again, please, if you don't mind. That's my speciality. You're going to love it. You know I love prepping fish. I do, Chef. I do. Right, so this is a level three tuna steak. We'll put that at that end. Oh, water's coming in. A level three tuna steak, of course. And a beef bourguignon type thing. Could this be the first time we get 100%, 100% all the way through every dish? I hope so. Especially seeing as it's um, Matey's. Actually, I don't know if. Uh, plating, chef. Makes you want to eat it. She don't know if. Um, crap! What's that? What's that that goes with it? What is that? Parmesan shaving. Okay. Get some of these on the go then. Ah, you banner. Why can't it just stay on the setting I put it on? That would be so much better, wouldn't it?
Dish out. Dish out. I don't have anything to do, chef. Don't you worry about it, chef. I'll keep you busy. That's beautiful. Look at that. What a fantastic dish. A quality. Could have been possibly better. Not so good. Not so good. Right, let's get level one, level two. It's in the fridge. Steak. We'll keep the Parmigiana on me because we're going to need it again, no doubts. Uh, I might even do some more. These over here. Gonna help out where I can. Far so good. Adele, we need okay, chef. probably two more of those. No problem, chef. Uh, and chef, I don't seem to have any of. Yeah, I've got just one of those. Okay. Superb quality again. Right, we are looking good, guys. We are looking very good. Uh, Kasim, if you wouldn't mind one of these level three. Didn't mean to do two of those. And two of those. We'll be laughing. Right, let me give me some more parmesan because I can see it's going to be a popular dish. Why does it have to change every single time? I've set it to this. Why can't it stay on this? Stop me getting it wrong. Perfect. Right. We're absolutely flying here, guys. Flying. Why not put that dish out? Oh, God. Went to sleep there for a minute. I don't know what happened on that dish. Such a beautiful looking dish. I couldn't make that look any better. I really couldn't. Service. Every single tuna you could possibly hope for. This is the easiest menu we've we've done. I think even if I was cooking this, I might be all right. I'm absolutely lying. That would not be the case. There would be so much to do. We got double beef bourguignon. We got double meatballs. Doesn't matter what they order. We're on it. Look at him, he's absolutely smashing it out of the park. In his happy place. Kasim is in his happy place. Uh, oh yeah, I accidentally have two of those now. Order up. forget it's a complete dish this could be it this could be our first 100 percent across the board so good, chef. everything's going out really quick really high level a plus on that one look i presume that's because i'm getting better at preparing it or something Jeff, these are flying out the door. I love cooking that. They're flying out the door. Keep them coming. That 
absolutely stunning quality every time every time he is very good he is superbly good adele likewise i'm on it chef don't blink or you'll miss it yeah keep them coming i don't think we need any more parmesan but you never know that lady's come out in her pajamas look that's how popular we are what went wrong with their knees they're fine. Uh, uh, they're fine. Just got big calves. I think this could be it, guys. This th this could be our first Michelin star. I feel it in my bones. Um, as long as everything goes as well as it has done so far. Double meatballs. Shame she couldn't get the meatballs up to grade A, but so far I've been able to reduce them up to a level of grade A, so potato potato. Yes. Thanks, Chef. Thank you. Another A. Good stuff, chefs. Understood, chef. Have another couple of cracks at that. See if you can get some A quality uh, meatballs coming through, please, chef. Thank you very much. Leave that there. One of those dishes is going to go. Fantastic work, Chef. Really high quality. Well done. That's A+. Plus. I think this is probably the last service of the day. I'm pretty sure we've had 15 people. Can I help you with? The table just ordered, Chef. Level two. Tuna steak. An A plus quality one of these, and then some meatballs. So when those meatballs come through, please forget. Service. Where are those meatballs? Where are the meatballs? Here they come. A little bit slow. Oh yeah. A plus A plus A. That's good quality food right there. Almost done. Oh no, B quality. It's a shame. Because they go in A quality, they're just not quite coming out. The same level. Still, I've got three attempts to get this to an A standard recipe, and then we can go. There it is. This should be 100% today. If the quality of the, of the um, ingredients is good enough, it should be 100% today. One hundred and two experience points, coins received, loyal customers gained. Oh, what? What happened? One hundred percent, one hundred percent, and then the three in the middle just went to two. Explain to me what was wrong. Average quality ingredients. I'm going to have to buy better quality ingredients. That's what bit me in the bum there. Average quality ingredients, but I needed to get their motivation up. That was it. That was the problem. 
I guess as soon as we got unlimited amounts of stuff, I could have just got them to make more and more, it sounded rather British, more and more um, of the same dish until we got a really good quality one. Hello, mate. How can I help you? Good evening, chef. I can't thank you enough. Your food was wonderfully sophisticated. Our colleagues were delighted with the whole experience. I'm more than happy to add a little extra to the bill. What do you mean a little extra? You came in and asked me to increase the complexity of the entire menu for the sake of your friends. You can uh, increase your tip economically, sir. All this food wasted as well. Right, let's chuck it through. It's a shame. I really thought we were going to get 100% there. We've got to get the higher quality ingredients, even if it's expensive. I think the chefs are good enough now. And by the end of tomorrow's uh, episode, or the next episode, both of our chefs are going to be like level 20-ish, thereabouts. Well, the bur beef burgundy on didn't... Come on. The beef burgundy on didn't do too well, did it? Shame, because it was really high quality as well. So he smashed the uh, beef burgundy on. Maybe that's why the meatballs are not coming out as A quality, because she's all about the beef, and that's pork and venison. That could very well be the case, couldn't it? But maybe chef number three will have skills in those areas. We shall have to wait and see, guys. We shall have to wait and see. Right, so before I finish this episode, we'll go and have a look and see if we've ticked any boxes for either of the chefs. We should have done, because Kazima served up a number of uh, tuna dish, tuna steak dishes today. And... Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, that she made beef bourguignon, which is meatballs in uh, marinated pork balls or whatever. Something there. Cool. So we completed that challenge. No! Marinated cubes of beef. So I have to... Not the whole recipe, but just the marinated cubes of beef. I don't know if I can do that on this dish. Hmm. This could be interesting. Could be interesting. But he's got a tick on the tuna steak, which is great. So we've got langoustine with vegetables, so maybe we'll add that to the menu tomorrow. Get another tick for him. And everything is looking good. 2,000 in the bank. Not a terrible day's work. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye for now.